Hello, hello, everybody. What is up? I am Marco. And my name is Dave Snow. Yes, uh, I am joined today by an actual, I guess, uh, B cast member. I'm John's long lost brother. Yeah, of Game of Thrones. Welcome, Dave Snow, everybody. Yeah. I'm very excited about today's unboxed. You could say, I know nothing. Huh? That's huh? true. Can't That's do that true. voice a whole show, so it's ending right there. Yeah, how how bad did that hurt uh, your throat right there? Uh, pretty bad, but yeah. it probably wasn't as bad on everyone else's ears. That's true. So, sorry for that impression. That's true. Welcome, welcome. Of course, if you are tuning in, this is another awesome and, of course, special edition of Unbox. Yes. Because guess what? We are getting hyped and talking about a Game of Thrones box to fill in that gap of time between now and uh, 2019. 2020, 2022, 2000. they'll probably continue to push it back. Why are they doing this to us? I, I have no idea why they're doing this to us. They're delaying it, they <sighs> keep pushing it back. It's a little bit painful. You, it makes want, me... you want to know why they're doing it? Because they can. Because they can. Because they we can. will wait. We will wait. They have built it. Yeah, that's we true. We will wait. Uh. And of course, if this is your first time tuning in or your millionth time tuning in every week, what we do here at Unboxed is we give away an awesome amount of collectibles to you. And yeah. all you have to do to win this awesome box of collectibles is to share this video. Share this video. Share. And you can get everything in this box. And this, whoa, I almost dropped Johannes. I'm sorry, Johannes. Uh, sure. he gets, uh, just he gets very just randomly, he, he gets a little bit mad. He gets a little bit mad. We forgot to introduce him. Uh, but this box looks a little different than it normally does. Yes. Correct. Yes. Normally, it's a we. I don't know what's inside. We don't know what's happening. Yeah. But. This box is actually sent to us by the good folks over at Culturefly, and so if you are looking for an awesome subscription box that actually sends it to you quarterly. Make sure to check it out. Uh, what's really cool about it actually is that all of these boxes are, are numbered. So if you're a, a hardcore collector like me, this is actually numbered. Uh, we have, this out of 5,000, this is 3,422, which is yeah. a very special number. We're talking I major don't know exclusive here. Yes, super exclusive. Uh, and all these items that are in the box, like you can't buy them retail. You can't buy them in stores. Yeah. You can only buy them at Culturefly. And I'll be honest with you, uh, the surprise is gonna be on both of us. Yeah, which is a first. Normally Marco <laughs> yeah. goes out and gets everything and he hand wraps it. Um, and over the years, we've seen the progression of his wrapping, by That's the true. way. That's true. It's uh, gotten better. Didn't start out so well, but yeah. now he's just like a Christmas pro there, wrapping all those presents. Yes. Uh, but here we have everything here will be a surprise to both of us. Uh, which I'm very excited about because I need to talk about Game of Thrones. Okay? Yes, because you need to get it out. I need you, to, you get, need it to out. get it out. We've it, waited for what? We uh, haven't how, gotten what's a, what's a last trailer. Episode? We Months. haven't gotten an on-set photo. Nothing. Nothing. I'm, you, I'm, you, you legitimately know nothing I about truly, season eight. I truly know nothing about this next season. I'm just, I need to talk about Game of Thrones. I need to talk about it with you. And lucky for you, you could go away with all this awesome Game of Thrones stuff yes. from Culture Fly. From Culture Flying, of course, if you are interested in seeing what is in this box, make sure to stay tuned. And if you want all of the items in the box afterwards, because you may not have one, there is a link in our pinned comment that is bit.ly slash culturefly. Yeah. All right. Are we ready? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Are, we re ready. are we ready? Do, it. Do I look ready, people? Marco? Do I look ready? I'm pretty ready. Yes. yes. That, that is from Dave's yes. personal collection, by the way. Yes. He this... decided to bring it in. He hasn't been able to wear it for a while. <laughs> No, and that's not true. <laughs> I've been wearing this, but it just people have been a little more confused as of late because, as a, they, or because why? Game of Thrones is out of sight, out of mind. Yes. You know. Um, also, my Westward, Westworld robot suit uh, didn't go over as well, so yeah. now I'm back to the Game of Thrones. That's all good. That's yeah. all good. And once again, make sure to comment along and let us know. Every 60 seconds, we're going to pull something out of the box. I guess in this format. Both you and I yeah. will be guessing what yeah. is in this box. We both we'll have absolutely take no idea. We'll 30 seconds, okay? we'll each <laughs> And go through it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna do it correctly uh, and, and I'll, I'll do like a blind lift. Okay, fair. Because I have absolutely no idea. Um, if Johannes wants to give a guess as well, uh, he can uh, from, from his vantage point of the... Uh, 
walkie talkie. Now we don't know what season this is from we either, don't. right? We this don't. could be this could span many seasons. Um, you know, as you know, Game of Thrones has probably 7,000 characters. I'm pretty sure that's a fact. Yeah. So this could be any one of them. It could be from any season. It could be from last season, yeah. which is basically like the Infinity War of Game of Thrones, where we saw all of the characters finally come together. Uh, spoiler alert, but if you haven't seen the last season of Game of Thrones, come on. You need, you need what to catch up. You've had so ago. much time. Months ago. That's so much time. All right, so we are going to put 60 seconds on the clock, and this will be the first item. Yes. All right, I'll go be honest with you. This box smells... Right off the bat, going this with box, a smell This test. box smells really good. I, I'm just really jealous because I never get to unwrap anything. That is true. Never get to unbox anything. So, okay. It's hard because this is a singular unit. So I, I don't know. I can't shake it because oh yeah, we don't it could be multiple things. We don't know how much stuff is in here. Yeah, there, there's, there's a lot of things in here. There's a lot of things in here. I believe that Culture Fly puts together nine items. Okay. So we're going to have to guess through nine items. Um, smells new, right? And in terms of uh, what I think it is, I think, uh, you know what comes new? Shirts. Shirts, always new. You know what I mean? You want to look fresh. You want to look clean. So you think this is a box of shirts? I think it's a singular. I think there's a shirt. That's the mm, one okay. thing that I am going to pull out right now. Right now. Okay. Is a shirt and it'll be, um, it'll be Jon Snow's face. Just Jon Snow's face. Like just cut out right here. Looking, looking, looking all good. Kind of looking cold. You know what I mean? As he does. That, that, that's my guess. I mean, but who am I? Winter has come, y'all. It's yes. cold, okay? <laughs> what, what, do you have a final guess? <laughs> I guess that took a way longer than the 30 seconds allotted. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're just guessing the first time you're gonna pull out, right? Yes, so, yes. So uh, I'm gonna say that this is going to be Jamie Lannister's hand. Ooh, yep. we are it getting- It was lost a couple seasons ago. We found it. Culture Fly put it in a box. And that is what it is. Culture chasing a cape. Uh, Brett is saying Daenerys knickers. Amanda Finney is saying DVD set. Um, Charles Phillips is saying it's a shirt of Jon Snow. So we have one person who agrees with me. Yeah, all, all right. right, let's do it. Let's open this box. I'm looking at it. I feel some excitement. I'm gonna turn it this way. I don't want to. Yeah, I yeah. don't want to look at it. Ooh, I like the box though. Let's talk, the box is kind of cool. We got like the uh, the, the emblems right yeah. here. Of all, all right. the houses. All right. There. Okay. This. I don't think this is an item. Is this? A, okay. Oh, this is just telling me. Oh, wait. I think that told me what was in it. Oh. Okay. I, I took a quick peek, quick peek, but. Uh, all right. This is the first. <laughs> Does it this feel is like the, a shirt? There's a lot of things in here. There's awesome. a lot of things that I'm feeling. Nine to be exact. All right, all right, all right. Whoa. Oh! Oh, oh my god! What is this? I should have get I, I knew there was gonna be some sort of reference this? to this. Okay, this is this is the emblem of House Targaryen. Yeah. Oh wow. The heat reaction. Oh wow. Wait, so is this a heating pad? Yeah. Gently feel for the small metal disc inside the pouch. Once located, snap the disc to activate the reaction that will heat up the pouch. Occasionally, uh, need the pouch to soften the contents. Wow. So I think you know you know why you know this is appropriate because House Targaryen, dragons, fire, heat. Perfect. This is perfect. You need you need to stay cool. So so I think this is like when you're trekking through the yes. snow. When winter to, has come. When winter has come. Feel free to pack this or crack this bad boy open and you get heat. You could stick it in your in your giant coat or underneath yeah. your your beaver hide or whatever else you're <laughs> tracking through the the snowiest yeah. forest with. This is this is some sort of technology that would have been very useful. I'll say this. In that time. I, love, I will say that. I love this culture fly because the cool thing about culture fly is you're gonna get collectible things that you probably wouldn't be able to find anywhere else. Yeah. I didn't even think that something like this would exist, but it's a great little thing. Yeah. It's a heating pad. Uh, you know, use it to keep you warm, or you know, if you just got a little tummy ache. Yeah, Maybe, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just lay it you know, right there after you know drinking. Yeah, you know, after, after I've, having too I've, much mead. Yes. You know, <laughs> put this bad boy on there. You'll feel a lot better. Uh, not, how cool not, is that? Not scientifically or factually uh, correct. No, or, or, that or, is or, a scientific fact, Marco. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Found it on sure. WebMD or somewhere, right? That is so cool. <laughs> Some uh, sort of heating pack. I'll a Targaryen, a house Targaryen heating pad. 
doesn't get any better than that. This is the first this item. This is the first item, by the, the way. And then there's thing. eight more items after this. This is wild. And once again, all you have to do to win this box is share. And of course, get your comments in. We need to know. Kaylin Van Housen saying, do you still do this every Friday? Yes, we do. We do this every Friday. Jennifer yeah. is saying winter is here. And she's saying, oh wait, that's just the weekend. That's right. Yeah. Every because Friday, everybody. We live in California, so we're completely unaware of what's happening in the rest of the country. <laughs> but it's very cold in a lot of places. So That's right true. now, hopefully this is going somewhere in the Midwest to warm someone up. Okay. Johannes. Johannes. Who, who also is, who is from somewhere cold. Who, is, who has a very cold, uh, maybe heart. Definitely. Could definitely use this. Definitely. Uh, if it's in there, it's cold. What do you mean maybe heart? Well, yeah, I'm just saying. Yeah, maybe, maybe a you're, cold You're heart. a radio. You know, you're a robot. Yeah. Alicia, Alicia Varga Gray asks, where you get the box? Oh, where you get the box. So if you have a question where you get the box, we it's actually a great have question. a link. We have a great answer. We have a link in the pinned comment. Mm. That is bit.ly slash culturefly. And this is just one of the items. We're going to actually be revealing all of the items yeah. in this awesome culturefly box. Uh, we're not only talking about the items in the box, you also get the box. Yes, yeah, so that's the coolest part about today is Everything we're going to show you, one person is going to win it through Unbox, but everybody can get it. Everybody. Well, and I mean like, you know, 3,000 yeah. of you. Because yeah, yeah. it is very it is, exclusive. It is limited. And there are probably not that many left, so make sure to click on the link and get yourself a Game of Thrones box from Culturefly. All right. Are you ready yeah. for this next one? I will, okay, 60 seconds on the clock, Johannes. All right, I'll be honest with you. I'm going to let you do it because I took the entire 60 seconds last time. Oh, to guess. Yes. Okay, yeah. What are you thinking? Okay, you, so you, now, would, would you like this has actually thrown a wrench in the spoke, so to speak, because I wasn't thinking in terms of like really yeah. outside the box kind of Game of Thrones memorabilia. Yeah, this is, this is a heating pad. <laughs> like, okay. Who would have guessed that? Yeah. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking what else would be good in the winter time? Ooh. Um, some hot Food, okay? Yeah. Oh. Uh, I'm thinking what's really easy and fast to make sandwiches, but no one just likes a regular old sandwich. They want to make it a panini, right? Ooh. So I'm thinking that this is probably a House Stark panini maker. Dang. So like when you press it down, yes. you get the sigil yes. right on the yes. panini bread. Yes. And basically, uh, you know, it has each each family member of the Stark yeah. because they are all basically gone, and then you eat them, and then they're gone. Uh, final answer, Ooh. Stark Panini Maker. Yes, you think Stark Panini Maker? What does everyone at home think? Get your guesses in and let me know. Uh, we have Tony Davis saying, drink and know nothing shirt. We have Game of Thrones socks from Kilo Brandex. Culture Chase is saying a Funko. Emmerich is saying it's an egg. Very interesting. All an right, egg. are you ready? Uh, yeah. Oh, oh, Johannes has a guess. I think it's a uh, Theon Greyjoy shaving kit. Whoa. Okay. All right. <laughs> That's a good one. That is it. I feel like both of us who I feel like the uh, beard game is very strong in this office. So I think uh, that shaving kit is something that we'd, uh, you know, yeah, yeah, we'd, we'd all need. Yes, and hopefully he was referring to Theon's face. Okay, <laughs> um, we're gonna open this up. Let's see. Ooh, okay, everyone, gonna be, yeah, I'm yeah. Gonna don't in. look! Don't you dare wow. look! Oh, there are a lot of things in here. I'm actually going to take this out. Yeah, yeah what it feels are you feeling? like something I'm rather familiar with. Marco referenced it earlier. Oh, we got what? A shirt. Yo, is this an all over print shirt? Oh yes. my goodness. Yo, is this, oh, what? Got this, all the house this sigils has got there. got all the house sigils on here. This is fantastic. Yes. In great detail, might I add. Yeah. Uh, we're looking at, it's a large. You know, which is the perfect size for anybody, yes. I feel. Game of Thrones shirt. If you are liking this, if you are digging this, give us some likes, give us some so hearts. You, weren't, you weren't far off last time, Mark. I wasn't I wasn't far off. There's there's Jon there's, Snow. Yeah. There's a lack it's, of a face right here. Yeah, Hello. His, his sigil is on here. Okay, yeah. so there it's it's it's, it's not somewhat, too far off. Yeah, you know. Somewhat uh, reminiscent of a face. Yeah. If you if you squint your eyes a little bit. Maybe you might see Jon Snow. This is just this is just a dope design. Yeah, I dig it. I like it. If you are a Game of Thrones fan, um, I guess if you're a fan of all the houses, you can't yeah. choose one. Guess what? 
And Get it's off. in one of my favorite Game of Thrones colors, Greyjoy. Okay. <laughs> okay, guys. Okay, don't worry. There'll be more of those. Don't you worry. Don't you worry, Johannes. Johannes digs the jokes. That's actually the happiest and most joyful he's been. Yeah. In in all of the yeah. unboxed. Yeah, we're gonna so, put that bad boy oh, man. right here. Very, very positive. Next to the heating pack. Keep it, keep it warm. Yes, he almost yes. hit. Yeah, he was throwing he, a lot of things. Ejected. You know what? That reminds me. We've been going through this entire unbox. We've been so obsessed with this culture fly box that we forgot about one of the most crucial parts of unbox. That's right. The reference item. The reference item. Every week, we have a reference item, Marco. Mm -hmm. What's our reference item this week? Our reference item today is a hotly debated name. Ooh. In the pull, industry. Let me, let me pull it out. Of soft drinks, everybody. Okay. Boom! Oh, I know that they didn't have this in uh, all of the Game of Thrones land. Yeah. But uh, I'm pretty sure if they in, they had it, yep. they, they would quite enjoy it. I think the drinking and knowing things, you, I mean, it wouldn't have been alcohol. It would yeah. have been LaCroix. Yep. LaCroix, LaCroix? What is everyone's I, thought on this? I say LaCroix. 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 <laughs> um, but it's just, uh, you know, it's just a little, little deli delicious beverage and uh, doesn't get any more pretentious than something called Pampomus. Pump exactly. So we're gonna use that as the reference item. So if you because are, why yeah. not? We're bougie today, okay? Exactly. And if you are curious as to what size these items are, we are going to be using this to just yes. relate it to you. Unfortunately, we can't like have it with the uh, wrapped item. Right. But we will show it to you afterwards, as well as Dave taking a sip here. There we'll to just reference the box. This is, this, this is how big this yeah. box is. This is a good one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is a good nine. Pample mousse is deep, okay? That's about, that's a nice size box yeah, you're getting that, here. I don't think I've ever heard that phrase before in my life, well, but, the first but it, seems, it seems only necessary. Okay, uh, why don't you Ooh. take the honors of guessing this All right. next one as we put 60 seconds on the clock. Johannes, Johannes and I take a refresher. And of course, if you are at home, make sure to Ooh. get your guesses in and let us know. Yes. So, we have been uh, mentioning a couple things about drinking, right? Oh, yeah, okay. Drinking, I'm wondering where this is going. Drinking and knowing things. Oh, yes, yes. Yes. Uh, very, very, very famous quote, and yeah. of course, a very famous lifestyle <laughs> for, for some people. Yes, huh? usually when I think I know things is when I drink. Yeah, that's yeah. the only time I <laughs> yeah. feel like I know sometimes anything. Sometimes it helps the other, sometimes yeah. one informs the other. Yes. You know what I mean? That's just how it works. Yes, so maybe you're talking about Tyrion, who yes. obviously drinks and knows exactly. things. Exactly. Although last season felt like maybe he didn't know as much as he thought. Yes, he, he didn't know all the things. Pretty murky waters. Yeah. Uh, and we all know nothing about the White Walkers at this point because they we're all at their mercy. Yes. Uh, yeah, truly. So I have to guess that there's gonna be a mug in here. Okay. And, it, and it's, at a, it's gonna be a glass mug and it's gonna be like stained. And with that quote saying you drink and you know things. Because when you're drinking with your friends, hmm. you need to let them know that you not only drink in the form of this mug, but you also know things. All right, that's super specific. Yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering if you've cheated or something, but we're gonna find out right now, Marco. Let's get the next one. Let us uh, see. Out Charles here. Phillips is saying a mug with I drink and I know things on yeah. it. We have more people who agree with me. Okay. All let's, right. <laughs> so far, I've been wrong, though. Yeah. Let's see. Not looking, not looking. I'm gonna make some sounds. Ooh. Ooh, okay. I feel like I'm almost cheating because I'm grabbing the thing that I think might be it. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like- I like, like that. I'm like, I like your style. I'm like, you no, felt a handle? Like, yeah. You like, felt a handle? Is this, is this what I feel? <laughs> all right, all right, here all right. we go. Oh. oh, no. Oh my goodness. This is actually something completely different. I thought it was gonna be a mug. Oh, uh, wait, 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 it's not a mug. Oh, can we open it up? Yes, we are gonna open it up, everybody. Once again, you can get this all at culturefly.com or yes. use the link bit.ly slash culturefly. This is built by culturefly, yeah. it says. Ooh, Ooh okay. Uh-oh. Got, it's not what I expected. It's actually just styrofoam, which styrofoam, is kind everybody. of a bummer, but you know, hey, it's Game of Thrones themed. Oh, wait a minute. It's not, look at this. 
Oh my gosh. Awesome detail, once again. You know again. what this is? I, I, didn't, I was confused at first when I said planter. I yeah. that maybe that was a Game of Thrones reference, but this is literally something. <laughs> that you can plant something in, yes. What is better than actually being able to produce life? Huh? And, oh, oh. Okay, we're gonna is leave this, it in yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, we're yeah. Gonna we're gonna leave it in there. We're gonna leave it in We're gonna leave it in. We apologize early to the person who's like, man, I wanted that styrofoam to be mint. We, uh, Don't we worry, apologize. I'll, I will use some Game of Thrones themed glue. Okay? Yes. <laughs> this is a house Tyrell planter. So you can plant a little seed in there and then maybe by the time Game of Thrones finally yeah, yeah. airs, you'll It'll have an coming, entire yeah. plant that has grown. That's true. So you got two years to grow this thing or yeah. however long. Yeah. Maybe that's a great idea. As soon as you get this, plant the seed and let us know where it's at throughout the season of Game of Thrones when it finally comes out. And of course, House Tyrell has seen some better days, okay? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is there anyone left in House Tyrell? Does anyone know? Yeah. House Tyrell? This, this, this sigil looked almost Actually, foreign to me. Yeah. What, you know what, what I mean? Like, what I was you like, may wait, just what is do this? is fill this up with the ashes of House Tyrell yes, yes. because they Use are that done. Maybe this the, is a House uh, Tyrell urn. Yeah. Um, no, this is actually a planter and it's pretty cool. Yeah. It's good soil, they say. Marco, House Tyrell how, ashes, great, how, great to grow plants. How are you with plants? I had to, both did. Yeah. That's why I'm uh, really afraid I, I to don't have, have children. I don't have the, the, Can't the, even keep uh, a plant alive. the green thumb, as they say. However, I will say if I had two years, because that is how long we're waiting, but this Game of Thrones, I think that I'd be able to, you know, make a pretty decent plant. Or yeah. I'll do the cheap way and I'll buy a plant that's already been grown, mm -hmm. and then just put it in there. And when my friends visit my house and they're saying, wow, that's an amazing House of Tyrell planter, I'll be like, I did it myself. Yeah, that's pretty cool. And just fake it. Fake it till you make it, as they say. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is what's cool about Culture Fly. Again, two items that I never knew existed. Exactly. Okay? I love Game of Thrones. Lots of Game of Thrones collectible items out there. We've done different Game of Thrones unboxed before. Never none seen of a these, planter, yeah, none of these items. Never seen a Targaryen heater. Yeah. Uh, pretty dope. And what's the cool thing about it is that uh, Culture Fly, yeah, they make all of these items on their own. You can't even get them yeah. anywhere else online. You can't just buy the singular thing. You have to get the box. They actually do this quarterly, and they, uh, you can do it on a yearly subscription, so you'll so, get four boxes a year. So it's, all, so it's all Game of Thrones. Yeah, you can do an entire Game of Thrones box. It's not just like this. There's a lot of different things, well, what though. They have Nickelodeon. What, 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 what if I was a fan something else? Is what I was if say. you like Supernatural, they have Nickelodeon. They have a bunch of different brands that they got there, and they're doing all unique items. So if you want all these different things, there's different boxes for you. Or you can do the, like, I'm a huge fan of everything and go with all the boxes and get like 10 boxes. Yeah, that's, that's how I roll. I need yeah. all the things. I need all right. All the things. Are you ready for this next one? Yeah. 60 seconds on the clock. Johannes! Okay. We still have now, to make a supercut of uh, us saying Johannes now. Yeah, that, for sure. We've, we've said it a lot, a lot of times. times. Okay, so here we go. Um, I'm looking at these items. I'm like, these are very original, uh, very thoughtful. Yeah. Like for you to come up with something like a planter. But I think the next item in here is a little more literal. Mm -hmm. It's a little more attached to the show itself. Okay. Okay. Ooh, we're going, now, we're going deep we're, in here. Yeah, we're all familiar with uh, the Red Witch, okay? Melisandre, right? Mm -hmm. There is a scene where Melisandre, she takes off, she's got like a little choker necklace deal going on, a little like Hot Topic deal. Mm. And she takes it off, and then she becomes a really old, old ass lady. <laughs> and I think, <laughs> that this is that choker. I think that this is that choker, and when you put it on, you will regain your youth. I Ooh. think that, yeah. So, so, so you're saying Yes, I'm gonna <laughs> yes, I mean, put it immediately on, uh, so I can show you all what I used to look like as a baby. That's my final answer. Mm, very, very interesting. Yeah. We will see if we'll find that necklace, which, which would be very interesting. Johannes, you have a guess? Yeah, I think it's a Hodor Thesaurus. A Hodor Thesaurus, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> because, you know, his, his range of vo vocabulary is yes. quite wide. Yes. We, we need to translate, you know, the yes. other words yes. that Hodor. I need, a, I need another word for gracious. Yeah. Uh, Hodor. Ah, okay, yeah, very yeah. good. Hodor. It's, so, for those of you who are in college and need to write your midterm papers, yep. guess what? This thesaurus. Yep. 
is for you. And let's see if Culture Fly has put it in the box. Procrastinate. Oh. Hodor. Hodor, oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah, okay, that, here we go. Sense. I'm reaching in here. Get your guesses in. Misty Sharp saying pens. <laughs> one of Skylar these, Daniel saying Hodor, Hodor, one Hodor. One of these items feels really weird, and I'm gonna save it. There's ooh. one that's in, ooh, hear that? Yeah. Once again, get your likes, get your hearts in if you're enjoying this. Ooh, oh my goodness. The look on your face is like, we were just talking about drinking. This is a Baratheon drinking horn. It doesn't get any cooler than that. Yeah. If you showed up to a party, okay, and everyone else is walking around with red <laughs> solo cups, yes. and you have a Baratheon drinking horn, yeah, you're the coolest person at that party. For yeah, sure. definitely. I, I, I think I'd be like, you know what? I'd stop everything that I'm doing, and I'd, I'd go drink with that person. It gets better, okay? First off, the detail on this, you can't see, but their sigil. Uh, is is all across this kind of it's like a like almost like a little leather piece around. Yeah, here. yeah, it's kind of like then, good, good for the grip. And then you're like, okay, this is hard. I, I can't set this down. Like I want to be drinking, but you know where do I put this? This will fall over. Oh wait, that's right. You strap this bad boy to your body, so you never lose it like a true drinking horn. That's that's right. You can also actually put it in. I believe. You put it in and it'll stand it right up. Oh, oh so they, my they've goodness. Solved, they've solved this problem too. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, because uh, the horn doesn't have, you know, like a nice flat bottom like you'd think it would with a regular cup, but guess what? Let me, it's not a regular let cup. Let me see that. Let me bring, oh, that, oh. bring that over here. <laughs> Are you bring good? that over I here. I think you need to rock this for the rest of the thing. Um, um, and guess what? If you want, let me just see this. Hold that real quick. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty ready for Coachella now. Yeah. Yes, I am. <laughs> And I the, just walk around with my drinking yeah. horn and go check out yes. bands. And, it, and um, for those of you who like pomplamoose, guess what? Great for a LaCroix. You pour this bad boy in there, you have a little pomplamoose. You're no longer as pretentious as you once were. Yeah, it's, it's in the horn. No one has to know what you're drinking. No, that's the beauty of it. You can bring this bad boy to work, get away with a lot of things, okay? Uh, House Baratheon, of course, if you're familiar with the first season, uh, they really like to drink. They yes. really pour it on, yeah. those Baratheons. Uh, but please, Baratheon <laughs> responsibly, okay? Uh, Kilo Ben is saying, this box just went to an all new level. Justin Demmer is saying, don't defile it with LaCroix. And it is in all caps, by the way. Yeah, please don't. <laughs> please don't. I, I don't actually you recommend won't. that. Uh, but I do recommend if you're not 21 and you win today's Unboxed, you who? Yeah. Throw you, some Yoohoo mm -hmm. in that bad that, boy. That definitely works. And show up to school <laughs> as the coolest kid. Exactly. Yoohoo, you know? uh, I'll do like a little bit of Nesquik. I think Nesquik. Oh, you're is, a Nesquik. I'm a Nesquik person over Okay, you that Just will have to be its right own now. fan <laughs> battle. Yoohoo <laughs> versus Nesquik. Okay. We're gonna, we're gonna cancel the show right now. All right, Johannes is not digging it. He is not a fan of chocolate let us milk. Know, let us Lame. know, are you team Yoohoo or team Nesquik? Yeah. We, I need to know right now. Oh, so you have an opinion. Okay, Johannes has an opinion. What is it? Well, well, you who? Oh! <laughs> you who? You who? That so is not the superior the chocolate is, milk. Is like, Nesquik is just literally chocolate syrup that goes into milk. And you're thinking, oh, that's what chocolate milk is. It's like, no, no. You who has created its own unique okay. thing in some lab somewhere. It sounds like and it is delightful. Like Nintendo system. Yes. Yeah, you know, okay, okay. Let us put this to the fans. I have a lot of people saying Team Nesquik, uh, some people saying Yoohoo. Give me a like if you like Yoohoo, and give me a heart if you like Nesquik. And, and give me a smiley face if like, you're like, enjoying like, like, all like, of like, these like, items like, from like, Culture like, Fly. Like, 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 like. And once again, if you want this box and all the contents in it, make sure to go to culturefly.com or use our link, which is bit.ly slash culturefly. Yes. Are you ready? This is just a little taste, yeah, by the way. This is tiny. There's only four items. That's what the cool thing is. is like you, There's no way you could guess that this stuff oh. was coming to your house. It, this thing is 50-50. There's a lot of hearts. There's a lot of likes. And we have a couple a uh, couple happy faces for no, those who See, it doesn't count like because if, if you're drinking as quick, you're not in your right mind. You're probably all <laughs> sugared up. And... Uh, Skylar Daniel saying all chalky milks are equal. That's that's fair. Uh, I'm never in chocolate milk anymore. And Kadea, and Kadea is saying... Well, I think like, and she's saying you who tastes like watered down chocolate milk. Facts. All right. Johannes, 60 seconds for the you who lovers, everybody. 60 seconds. 
No. Yep. Six, six, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and figure out what we have next. So Game of Thrones. Yeah. You know what I mean? I do know what you mean. Yeah. A big map. There's a Correct. lot of areas. It is, it is the intro. It is. Wow, it, wow, exactly. Wow, There's wow, a wow, lot wow, of wow, things. Wow, wow, We've seen a lot of sigils. We got a shirt. Of course, we got some drinking. We got some heating pads. You know what I mean? All these people are in different areas. But what we don't know and what we don't have so far in this box is a map. A map. We don't have a map of the entire layout in the in, in the places in the world. where yeah the world George R.R. R. Martin's mind if you will I, I imagine if you opened up George R.R. R. Martin's skull it would just be the the opening credits of, of Game of Thrones yes with like all these weird spinning things coming up and down and guys I've watched Game of Thrones some seasons multiple times I still would lose that geography quiz about the, yes. the map in Game of Thrones. And so There's, this is I don't why, know where everything is. It's very confusing. And this Still. is why, though. Yeah. A map, a big old map that's gonna just fold out right now is completely necessary. Just solve all my problems. Solve all your problems. All right. I think we have the Game of Thrones the map. map. I'm gonna I'm gonna put it right in your hand. I don't know. I think it's gonna be a Tywin Lannister toilet paper roll. He said Tyrion, wait, he said Tyrion Lannister? Tywin. Oh, Tywin, Tywin Lannister. Lannister. Because he was killed on the toilet. Tywin toilet paper. and Elvis. Same death. I'll Boom. give you a hint, John. Both shot wrong. with an arrow. I feel no By toilet brother. paper in here, so in your face. All right. Oh, oh, this is, I, I know it map. in my hand. Map. This feels like a map. I've held maps multiple times in my childhood because maps are Basically irrelevant G now today. See, I was gonna say GPS doesn't yeah, count. Yeah, GPS doesn't count, Marco. I've hold my phone Google in my maps. Hand. Is Google that enough maps of a map? Not That's not enough of a map. Okay. So people oh, are going, what's a map? Boom! I don't even know what it is. This is awesome. What what do we got right this here? This is awesome. This is a house sigil stamp set. What? Which means that this is probably Wait. one of the old school melt some wax. Stamp it on down, and it leaves you with that awesome house sigil on the back. If you still write letters, which yeah. you should, because I'm gonna tell you something. Bringing it back. Okay? It's a lost art form, okay? We used to have pen pals back in the day. Find your old pen pal and start writing them again, and send them one of these bad boys. Uh, I don't know which house it is, so that's also a surprise. We're actually just gonna leave this wrapped. Yeah, We're gonna leave I this think this one, one we'll leave on This will be a surprise for you if you were lucky enough to win today's Game of Thrones box from Culture Fly. Uh, because whoever's it is, it'll be awesome. Yeah. And whenever you send a letter, then people will think that you're part of that house. I feel like it makes you more, much more official in your letters. When you see a stamp, you're like, oh, yeah, that's for real. Usually, it's a bad sign. Like usually, when you get one of those, yeah, it's like yeah, some, yeah. So you're like, oh, this is from so, something. Someone's collecting something. From yeah, someone's this money. is from the government, yeah. and it's got a weird house sigil yeah. on it. It's just got Trump's hair on it, and you're like, this is not good. What do yeah. they want? We'll never yeah. know, we'll never know. But yes, you have a chance to win all of these items. And this is just half of the box. Can you believe that? And this is all sent to us by Culturefly. You see that website right there, culturefly.com. Make sure to check it out or use our link, which is bit.ly slash yeah. culturefly. Go to the link because the, the link. link, you get this stuff. Yeah. You, you get you get all this stuff, and of we course we did we're all the work for you. All you gotta do is click it, and you can get, get everything that we see today. Yeah, we're giving it away. This entire box. We still have more items left. All you have to do is share this video to win. But before so let's, we let's, do let's so, let's open it up. No. Oh no. Wait. More? No, no. We before we do so. No. We're actually going to uh, bring it on to the lovely hosts. Oh, it's time for halftime. Nina. That means you guys have to stick around. You have to stick around to see what else is in the box. Yeah, so Nina and Jack are gonna give you a little bit of a Game of Thrones recap and breakdown. Nina. Let me, let me introduce oh, wait, wait. them as, oh, you, oh, as, as okay. <coughs> properly. <laughs> it's Game of Thrones, Marco. And now, from House Sullivan and House Carlin of Long Island, it is Jack and Nina. Oh my god, we're live! We are. So embarrassing. You oh guys, hi, I'm Nina. And you guys think we are talking about 
about breaking news stories of Game of Thrones. You guys can win that entire box that Marco and Dave are opening. There's a few more items to open later. All you have to do is share this video. So easy to comment and the whole box is from all of us. Really, everyone's a winner today because yes, someone's getting this for free, but anyone can get the box if they go to the link. Exactly. All you gotta do is go to Culture Play. Now, I right now I'm dressed as Liana Marmont. Obviously, obviously. Uh, Jack, what are you dressed I'm as? I'm actually really offended. I didn't get a fur coat to be wearing around. I'm. Who are you? I'm probably someone that died within the first two minutes of screen time. Uh, you didn't really see them. They were in the background. Yeah, that sounds a little accurate. Mm -hmm. but it's okay. I'm happy you're honest about it. Okay, so I have some major breaking news okay. stories right now from Game of Thrones, and Jack tells people that he's the biggest super fan of Game of Thrones, but we're about to find out. Okay, first breaking news story is Game of Thrones spinoffs. An HBO executive currently working on the show says that they're, uh, HBO is currently working on as much as four successor shows taking place in the Game of Thrones universe. Now, George R. R. Martin warned us, like, we're not gonna see any familiar faces because it takes place the time before the time we currently see mm -hmm. in, look at look at him, look at George. He has such a smug oh, he's so cute. face. He's a little cutie. Okay, so what do you think, Jack? Are you excited for these Game of Thrones spin-offs or do you think, horrible idea? Uh, a little bit of both. I think four is a horrible idea. Okay. Like, we are gonna get way too much Game of Thrones and it's not gonna be the Game of Thrones that we know and love. Me personally, I'd love to see Robert's ra uh, rebellion that we see that leads to the events of Game of Thrones. Yeah. Maybe we see the Targaryens coming to Westeros and taking power and then really pushing it, you get like the wildlings, like their story and how they came, or not the wildlings, the white walkers and mm -hmm. how they came to be. Mm -hmm. uh, the wild but, thing. Yes, uh, but where's the fourth story? And I know, I know. At that point, are they all going on at the same time? Yeah. Do I have to reserve my entire weekend is schedule like to watch it? Is it like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday? Or is it gonna be like five years in between each season? You're right, it's a little. It's. I mean, I love Game of Thrones. I want more Game of Thrones. I'm sad it's ending, but I'm not sure four shows all at once is the way to go about that. Yeah, I'm not sure that's a good idea either. And also guys, speaking of the future of Game of Thrones, we ask you, it's a comment right now, who do you think is gonna die in the final season of Game of Thrones? Do you think it's gonna be everyone? Maybe no one at all? And we're gonna read out your comments in just a little bit. Okay, second breaking news yes. item that we have. An HBO executive has made the final season sound like a bloodbath, quoted as saying that cast members, one by one, falling down to their deaths. <gasps> that is so scary. Okay, and we also know this. Maisie Williams is the only cast member who knows what's gonna happen at the end, and she told her mom, which we all know from that funny little Jimmy Kimmel mm. interview, so maybe Maisie is someone to bribe. And then another thing that could happen next, there's been a lot of speculation that a generation of Northern leaders led by me, Liana Marma. That's why you chose her. Thank you. We'll, we'll be having a very powerful presence in the final season. Hit me, Jack, what do you think? So it makes sense that Maisie Williams knows what's gonna happen because okay. George R. R. Martin has come out and said Arya is his wife's favorite character and she is certain divorce if she dies. So, quick question. Has anyone ever called George R. R. Martin Jar Jar Martin? Because I think that should be. Okay, continue, continue. Uh, anyway, yeah, and Liana Morma, I think, as was a fan favorite last season. She has the best stink eye, side eye, like, of anyone, maybe in television history. I've been practicing. Yeah. She still work got on, you beat. Work on it yes. a little bit more? You gotta okay. work for this okay. Liana cosplay. Oh, okay, got But it. I think it would be really interesting to see some of these characters that maybe haven't had a lot of agency and power really taking up arms and going to work. Okay. Um, but yeah, the only couple things I know people are gonna die is John and Daenerys can't survive at the same time okay. if we're going with the theory that one of them is Azor Ahai mm -hmm. uh, reborn. We are going with that theory, it's safe to say. Because one of them has to kill the other right. to to fight the White Walkers. In order to exist, okay. And Cersei's not looking very good because of the prophecy that says her little brother's gonna kill her. Now whether that's Jaime or Tyrion. You tell me. She's 100% convinced it's Tyrion, but okay. the irony of Jaime would be beautiful. So you see a bloodbath, 
you're into the bloodbath. Yes, Zach I, likes the death. That's why he watches of the course. show. He likes people dying. We have it on record here. You that's, guys know. That's just facts. I don't think the White Walkers are going to win at all. I think that's a very... Un- you're just like a nuisance. It's, it's an unsatisfying feeling for the fans. Yeah. Um, like, of course. I can see the book ending that way. Okay. But the TV show, I think, gives a little bit more fan service that... Okay, that, they that it really won't. needs to be. Mm-hmm. Okay, and then for this third breaking news headline, fan site Winter is Coming reported on April 2nd that the show is preparing to film at a ruined a ruin Roman amphitheater in the ancient uh, Spanish city of Italica that served as the dragon pit for a very crucial scene in season seven. You might remember it. Okay, so if they're filming this next season there, does that mean we're gonna see a lot of dragon drama? Hashtag dragon drama. Can we get that trending, everyone? Yes? I think so. Yes, now. okay, thank you so much. Now, I think we we'll definitely will see a dragon battle because okay. Viserion is now with the White Walkers now that he was resurrected and Drogon is naturally probably going to be the final dragon left, we can imagine. Okay. Uh, so definitely a one-on-one battle between Viserion and Drogon, if not a two-on-one. Um, do, do we really need to name a dragon Drogon? Like, isn't that a little obvious? Well, it's named after Cal Drogo. True, true. Oh my God, RIP. I know. RIP, QT. At least he's doing bigger and better things now. At, at the very least. Yes. Okay, so you do see the dragon pit it, equaling hashtag dragon drama, the final season. Exactly, okay. definitely hashtag dragon drama. Hashtag if we don't get a dragon fight, we're what's, we're what's the boxing. point of the show? What's the point it. of the show yeah. if there's no dragon fights? Jack, if I offered you $10,000 to never watch the final season, would you take it? Uh, I would take the money from you and then lie and watch it, so yes. God, what a liar. Okay, well, Speaking of liars, a lot of liars on this show, and yes. let's be honest, innocent people found their way into really terrible deaths and demises. So in order to brighten up your day and just make you happy, Super News Live has made a video all about how to die on Game of Thrones. We're gonna play it for you, and guys, comment how, who do you think is gonna die in this final season, and we will read your comments when we come right out of this. Johannes with the scary video. Let's go, Johannes. Borrowing it in uh, Yeah, so Jack stole my look as the Marma, which is honestly rude AF, but he is from Las Vegas, and I do think that this look really takes out the Vegas in him. Yes, you know? definitely like you, strolling. You're like Vegas baby. Definitely right? strolling through the casino for sure. Like 100%. Okay, mm-hmm. speaking of casinos, the casino of death, 
we asked you guys, who do you think is gonna die next season? And we got your comments ready. Yes, Tony said, all men will die and a female Stark will come to power, so either Arya or Sansa. I agree with that. I really agree with that, Tony. All men must die, all we know that. All men must die. That's another trending hashtag. Thank <laughs> you, dragon drama, all men must die. Mm -hmm. Okay, Julia Armbrust said that she thinks Arya is gonna die because she is the most beloved character and George R. R. Martin wants Martin. <laughs> George R. R. Martin wants to ruin our lives. Julia, mm -hmm. I hope you're wrong. And then Kilo, Simon, and pretty much everyone in the comments agreed that Cersei is definitely the one to go. Like, no one wants to see her stick around. If she's remaining on the Iron Throne, I think we'll all be sad. One thing I thought was interesting, though, was someone saying Arya would kill her, take her face, and pretend to be Cersei for a while. Which God, what kind of show is this? An amazing Jesus. show. Is that possible to take someone's, it is possible. Yes. Woo! Okay, spoilers for me happening right now. All right, well, with that beautiful image, um, we're gonna take you guys back to Marco and Dave. And guys, remember, this entire box, all by Culturefly, you guys can win it if you just share and comment on this video. It's amazing. Mm -hmm. All right, let's do our send off. Bum, 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 Bye, guys. Ah, stop. I gotta keep this, right? Bum, bum, da, 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 da. Oh, yes. Thank you so much, Nina. I will now never be able to unhear Jar Jar Martin. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was good, though. I never it. thought my least favorite thing and my favorite things would collide, come, yeah. but yes. they did. Yeah. They now, did. now it's like, what do you feel worse about? Do you feel worse about George R. R. Martin? Or do you feel better about Jar Jar Binks? That's that's the thing Ooh, that you now point. have to combat with. Like, good point. Where's your balance now? Yes. I just feel <laughs> queasy, okay? That's, that, all. that's it, all around. Yes, uh, but we have so much more to take out of this box, Marco, which yes. I'm pretty excited about. That is right. Make sure to share this video. And once again, this is all sent to us from Culturefly. Make sure to check out the website at culturefly.com or by using our link, which is bit.ly slash culturefly, which will take you directly to this box where you can subscribe, you can get it yourself. There's only 5,000 of them out there. Guys, these are unique items. You can't buy them anywhere else. You can't go to like Walmart or Amazon. These are only made by Culturefly. Yes. All right, you ready for this next one? Yeah, let's put 60 seconds on the clock and let's get to it. Let's go. Johannes. Yes, okay. All right, there we go. So, here's, oh, Spider-Man. Oh my God. Oh, oh he. He, he was trying to kill you. He needs some pumple boost. He's dehydrated. Let's, uh, there you go. Spider-Man's Spider Spider -Man's like, yo, man, let's not forget about he Infinity, Infinity such, Ward that's releasing soon. He is such an attention whore. Jeez, come on, Spider-Man. It's not your turn, OK? It's the wrong universe, pal. Jeez. I, honestly, I think he was so excited for what my guess was going to be. He was like, oh, Dave. <laughs> yeah, and he just straight <laughs> faded. Yeah. Uh, because, here's what I think, okay? Yeah. Spider-Man's hype, that's all we, I got. What we have here is a great way to mark all of your letters, but what we don't have is a good way to send mm. letters. I think this is a drone Ooh. raven. Oh Okay, this is a drone raven, you attach a little note to it, you send it up, and you send it over to your friends, because yeah. what is better than receiving a note via raven? I just want to say something that's like the most millennial thing is that we create new items that resemble old things. Yes, we do. <laughs> yes, we do. Like We're I obsessed remember, with it. Like I remember they create, I don't know if you guys remember, but there was like a phone attachment yes. where you would just plug it into your, oh, yeah, your, like a, your I don't know. Yeah, really and it was dumb. a physical phone yeah. for your cell phone. And yes. you're like, what's the point of that? Yeah. I, but we just want to mimic old things, but make them new. Obsessed with it. So I think you're right. Raven drone sounds about correct. All right, let's find out what it is. Uh, I, I think it's Stark letterhead wedding invitation. Oh, Stark letterhead mm -hmm. wedding Invite invitations. you to that red wedding. <laughs> mm. We'll see. Uh, okay, this is, this feels odd, so I wanna just. You, you just wanna just, go for just it? Just wanna go for it. Oh, this, what? Wait a minute. Yes, I'm right. Okay, so on the very first item, as a joke, I said, what could be in this box? And I said, it's probably Jamie Lannister's hand. Well, guess what? 
This is perfect. Not only is it his, well, it's, it's not his hand that got cut off. It's kind of his replacement. Yeah. You know, that it was kind of the one he wears, but it's an oven mitt. How cool is that? So when you're baking a pie, possibly with someone's remains as they yeah. did in Game of Thrones, <laughs> uh, it could be, you know, or, or it could just be um, one of the weird gross pies from the uh, Sam episode. Remember that, guys? That was a really weird, gross cut that they did. It went, I believe, from, um, you know, a, a bedpan, basically, <laughs> to some pies. Uh, so yeah, what was the character that, that baked a bunch? It was those baking pies with oh, Arya. Uh, hot pie! Yeah. This is perfect for when you're getting hot pies out of the oven. It's a Jamie Lannister special. I just like it because, you know, it's kind of like you're using somebody else's hand. Yeah. You know what I mean? To, to grab the hot things, because you don't want to do it yourself. This is you don't want your hand to burn, no. but you'd rather have that hand to burn. I wonder if this will stand up. Oh, it will. Oh my gosh, it look will. at that. You can even stand it up and it could be a part-time decoration for your kitchen. That, you know what else you can, one you know what else right you can there, use this for? If one of your other items, your Targaryen heat pad gets a little too hot, oh, you just use this. That's right. And then if it catches on fire, you just dump some beer on it out of this. And then it's perfect for all if, situations. If the house that started the fire is not a place you've been staying at, maybe it's an Airbnb and you gotta write the owners a letter to apologize, just write it and stamp it with this house sigil stamp. And then if you're like, oh, I feel really bad, I burned up their place, plant them a nice, a nice, nice plant. The, be okay? the best of Let them of know gifts. that there is life still to come and that then you just wear this shirt to look cool. Don't yeah, 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 while, Don't you're it. while you're doing it. All while you're doing it. All while you're doing it. Gotta look cool. And there you have it. Marco, I'm handing it over to you. Ooh. We got just a couple items left. All right, everybody, get your guesses in. And once again, give us some likes, give us some hearts, and of course, share this video for a chance to win everything in this box. And if you haven't already, go to culturefly.com. All right, Johannes, 60 seconds on the clock. All right, so I'm gonna be looking at your comments. Get your comments in. I'm actually gonna keep along with the uh, letter theme here. Okay. You know what I mean? We got your stamps right here. You you mentioned a, uh, a Raven drone. Yeah. Which somehow seems could still like, be in it there. could still be in there by could the way. Could still be in could there. Could still be in there. I am actually thinking, you know what's really hard to do sometimes whenever you rarely get a letter is opening it. That is very true. That is very true. I, I, it, I it's don't, hard something. You know, you got sometimes you got to jam I your finger. You got to do it. Opening gotta, letters. Mm. I have my butler do it. I don't exactly. touch them. Haven't yep. touched a letter nope. since 2005. No, not since 2005, y'all. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It hasn't. But uh, you know, you got to jam your finger in there. You got to rip it open. Yeah. You know, sometimes I see people tear the side of the letter no, do and accidentally rip don't do that. the actual if it's a document check, that's If in it's there, a check, yeah. I just. I heat that open. I don't oh, even, yeah, yeah. You're I like, even jinx not it. damage all. But yeah. what I think it is, we have a Game of Thrones sword. And we are going to, mm, and it's just going to slice maybe it right maybe, open. Maybe it's nice John, and smooth. John Snow's, oh, John Snow's signature sword. Oh, there it is. Uh, that was given to him. That's got the dire wolves on the side. That thing is. Dude. That's it. John Snow's sword, which doubles oh, yeah, it's on the handle. as a letter opener. You just open it up, and you just wield it. Yeah. In your pocket. I don't know why. You just you just put it in there. All right. Be careful if it's in your pocket. A lot of people are getting their guesses in. Simon Berman saying there has to be a dragon egg in there. Uh, Amanda Rodgers is saying maybe something to represent the Starks. Uh, Jamie Lynn King, another person who agrees with me, saying Jon Snow's sword letter opener. Um, Skylar Daniel saying a lock of Drogo's fabulous hair. Good guess. I want to change mine. It's Drogo's hair. I know it. Okay. It, it's that. It's it's in there. And I am feeling it. That is definitely, oh, oh. I know what hair feels like. And this is not it. And this is not it. <laughs> okay. oh, oh. oh, I thought, Wait. I was, I was, I was oh. going to put it in your hand. Oh, okay, I was but, but <laughs> Our synergy, not there. Yeah. Not there. I was, uh, I was too yeah. busy having a visual of this hair that was going to be placed in my hand. I no longer you, wanted you, you're it. You're like, I don't want to touch like, it. <laughs> no, no, <laughs> there, no. All right, we're but I'll take this. Replaying it? I'll take this. Oh, there we go. Who said that the Starks needed to be represented? Fear not. Culture Fly thinks of it all. All the houses will be represented. It's a little glary here. I don't yeah. know if you can see. But this is the Stark sigil, and it is 
notepad paper. Yes, and if you read it, it says, the North remembers, remembers, which is actually very perfect for the item that it is. Yes, and this is actually good to just send somebody you want to, you know, just kind of do this to. Yeah. Don't even write anything on it. Just mess with their head and just send them something that says the North remembers, you know? Yeah. It's kind of like that movie, you know, I know what you did last summer. It's like very like, whoa, it's ominous. Like, what did you, what did I do? This is just the North remembers. Okay, pal? That's it. Never forget. Uh, and. Could also write, you know. You could write your a grocery, note. Your grocery list. And you could list. attach it to a Raven drone. Oh, that's the beauty. Write a little note, true. attach it to a Raven drone, send it, it may, to one of your friends. It may not be the Raven drone, but yeah. it's pretty damn close. Oh, that's my wait thing. a minute. So this fits perfectly into the story uh, because uh, you'll write the note on this, you'll stamp it there with it this, is. and you'll send it off to the people yes. whose home you've burnt down. Exactly. Which is wonderful. It, it, it's saying the North remembers that you burnt the house yes. down. Yes. That, there it is, everybody. And once again, all of these items are sent to us from Culturefly. And if you want your hands on this exclusive box that you can't get anywhere else, yeah. make sure to go to bit.ly slash Culturefly or Culturefly.com right there. Right there. Right below the awesome baking glove. <laughs> This uh, is, Jamie on this with great, right there. This is great this stuff. This is awesome. I, I love it. I would it. have loved to have been in the Culture Fly meeting when they came up with all of this yeah. stuff. It's crazy because it's like all unique items. You can't find it anywhere else. Yeah. All right. Uh, see you guys on the clock. Is this the last? No, no. We still have two Man, more gotta, items. Wait. One, this. two, three, four, five, six, seven. Two more items. All right. Guys, this is nine items in this box. This is wild. All 60 right. seconds on the clock, Johannes. 60 seconds. Okay. Let's see. We've Ooh. gotten a lot of the houses. Um, who are we missing? Who are okay, we Okay, we got the Targaryens, Baratheon, got the, Starks, the Starks, the Lannisters, Lannisters. All of them are represented in the, the shirt. shirt. Ooh, who are we missing out on? What items are we missing out I feel like we haven't seen, even though we have some sort of representation here, we don't have a lot of, we don't have a lot of dragons represented. There, there's like some De white walkers that we yeah. haven't seen. White we, walkers, we dragons. Uh, what's that? It could be, it's probably a, Samuel Tarly branded bottle of Yoohoo. Oh, Ooh, it's probably a Samuel Tarly branded Yoohoo, Johannes says, which would be probably my favorite thing in this box because <laughs> Yoohoo, of course, is the best chocolate milk out there. Fight me on it with this glove. Um, I'm going to say. Team Nesquik. Uh, let's Team see. Nesquik. Uh, who has not been represented? I'm going to say that it is is Theon Greyjoy's... No, I'm just kidding. Um, okay, uh, I don't know. Let's just open it Woo! up. Yeah. <laughs> let's go we, in here. We can't, let's go in here. We let's can't just, censor anything on a live show, so... Okay, fair enough. This is... Ooh, we, get, we got some guesses here, though. Uh, oh, never mind. You're going to show it. But we have an Iron Bank, Piggy Bank, Misty Sharp saying Dragon, Jamie Lynn King is saying a Jon Snow sword that would double as a pen. Tony Davis saying Crown of Gold Slime. Scott Jan saying Game of Thrones dragon themed items. What do you think it is? I'll tell you this, I'm no Jon Snow because I know something, because I was right. It was indeed Greyjoy related, but how cool is this? This is House Greyjoy, okay? And this is of course the House Banner Pin series, which is, this thing is heavy duty. This is that a thing is big old pin. Yeah, if you, this, yeah. you are straight representing. Next time, I just want to say that, that if you want to show off that you are the biggest Game of Thrones at the Game of Thrones 2019-2020 uh, premiere party, yeah. you bring this cup, you bring a jacket with that pin yep. on you it. You put something in the oven, you take it out with this, you sit on this heating pad, You're you, you, uh, you know, write some notes to everyone at the party. Everyone will know. Everyone will know that you are fan. the biggest Game of Thrones fan. This this entire box is for Game of Thrones fans. Not just, you know what I mean? It's really cool, unique items. I've never seen any of these things. This is awesome. Uh, I actually, dig it. They should, I've never really studied their sigil before, but I believe that it is a squid. A squid. It is. Dave's which, hot which, take. Which, is which, it a squid? No, I think it is because Whoa, they, it, they are people of the sea, ooh. which is why I love uh, their little phrase here, we do not snow. So I thought it was <laughs> snow because
They don't have to deal with the winter, but I guess in the seas they do. Although I don't really remember it snowing over there. We do not sew. We do, no. Oh man, my dyslexia kicks in again <laughs> and ruins it. Although right. snow would be pretty funny too. Yeah, that's true, that's true. Do you think it's a squid? Can we get confirmation that it's a yeah, squid? Yeah, confirmation, fact it's check. Kraken? It's a it's kraken. kraken. There it is. Oh. Ah. Michael, my, uh, sorry, it's Mark Anthony Shalab is saying it's the Kraken. So, oh, it's we do Kraken. have some extra stuff. And if you like this, give us some likes, give us some hearts, and of course, make sure to share this video to win everything in this box. We have one final item left, and then we will announce the winner of this awesome Culture Fly giveaway. I think since it's the last item, I think we, we should both, we, let's, let's both get a guess. Okay. Um, all right, and Johannes will give us a guess as well. Johannes. 60 seconds on the clock. Real quick, I just want to say, these work. I am sweating. It is very warm. <laughs> it's very thing. warm. I understand why they use these. Yeah. Uh, it is quite warm. Yeah. Uh, I mean, it is part of your personal collection, though. So yes. I'm, I'm, I'm surprised that you're surprised. Yeah, this is literally like a small furry animal. Is just hugging Just you. hugging my neck. And my neck is not for it. Fair. <laughs> fair enough, fair enough. A lot of likes, a lot of hearts. Thank you all for tuning in and make sure to get a last second share in. I know that this last item, Oh, I know it. Okay. There's a White Walker in here. A full White Walker. A full White Walker. Like it's as an action as figure. In, as in we open it up and a yeah, White just, Walker pops just out? Just pops out. It, it doesn't seem like it would fit in here, but it's magic. Oh. <laughs> Bravo. He said it's a book called How to Be the Life of the Party by Bran Stark. Uh, yes, huge party animal he is. Um, let's see. What are you thinking? Going through it. Oh, you know what it is? It's some um, grayscale shavings. Ooh. From Jorah Momon. Mar Momon. Momon, I believe. It's not Which is very similar to La Croix. It's La Croix, it's Mon Mon. All right, and this is the last and final item. Once again, get your last minute shares in. Give us some likes, give us some hearts if you're enjoying it. Uh, Skylar Dan saying Ned's head. Simon Berman saying dragon egg. Ned's head. Ned's head. <laughs> uh, Killer Brand saying an arrow. Uh, Marshall I was saying Johannes just literally made me LOL laugh out loud. Oh, is that very what that interesting. means? Ah, okay, ah. All right, you. all right. This last time, ooh. It feels like it's in blister packaging or just packaging with plastic, so I think my action figure might be on the right track. Oh. We shall see. Last and final item. <gasps> Boom. Aha. Uh -huh. Oh, we not were, close. We were thinking houses. We weren't thinking dire wolves, of course. What? Ghost, which was Jon Snow's dire wolf. Look uh, at that. That looks awesome. This is detail crazy. On this bad boy. This is so cool. Again, something you can't yeah. normally find. That's the beauty of it. Ghost, Jon Snow's dire wolf. Uh, is there anything cooler than a dire wolf? I don't. But, I don't I think mean, so. I don't think so. Dragon. No, okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Are you team dragon or dire wolf though? Would you rather be able to turn into a dire wolf or have a dire wolf at your beck and call, or have to deal with a dragon? You yeah. know what I mean? Like one is way more practical and can be house trained. You know, yeah. if you live in a studio apartment, not, that, yeah. not recommended that you have a dragon, which is why I would choose dire wolf, yeah. probably ghost. I think uh, it'd be nice, you know, take your dire wolf on a little hike yeah. up Runyon Canyon or something out yeah, here in Los Angeles. You know what I mean? Like, it's really cool. I think it'd be fun. Yeah, just have a few, uh, you know, Los Angeles ladies chihuahuas for, for yeah. lunch. You know, you don't have to, even have to feed it. Yeah, exactly. How beautiful is that? Super easy. Yeah, it work. Some of them in carry LA. it in a in a purse. You know, you can just snatch it out, throw it to your dire wolf, and yeah. call it a day. Easy peasy. Yeah. Easy peasy, everybody. You can't take a dragon to a dog park and get away with it. Okay, <laughs> that's what I'm saying. And once again, everybody, if you are just tuning in, make sure to get your shares in. We are giving away a Game of Thrones awesome themed box from Culturefly. It comes with a box, by the way. It's yes. kind of unbelievable that all these items fit into this box, which yes. is So real quick again, Marco, packing packing explain to me everything about Culture Fly. Yeah. I can get this. This can happen to me. All this stuff can go in my room, and this can happen like once a month or... Yeah. So Culture Fly, they do this every quarter, so you get four boxes out of the year. 
And if you subscribe, you can do a yearly package, which is a little bit cheaper. But if you want to just buy a singular package because you really like what's there, you can do that as well. But all of the items here are completely exclusive. They are actually, boom, HBO certified. They have yeah. the actual licensing there. And That's Culture awesome. Fly makes these items, thinks of them, and makes them amazing. These are all so original. Yeah, and super original. So great. You can't and buy them. Character driven. Can't buy them anyway. It's awesome. Oh, what's up, Johannes? Uh, go through what we got there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All sure. right. Let them know we'll, at we'll, home what we'll we start have. start over these here. Win. Jamie Lannister lost his hand. No problem. He got an <laughs> iron hand, and you can now use that hand to take out any baked goods out of an oven. Yeah. It's an oven mitt from Jamie Lannister. Over here, of course, we have a t shirt. If you can't decide which house to associate with, no fear, they're all on there, all the house sigils. Then, of course, we have House Greyjoy. They don't sew. It's right there on this awesome pin, which is another house sigil there. The Kraken. Oh, oh. it's okay. That the beauty thing is it's sturdy. Yeah. Un unlike the Greyjoys. Uh, um, unlike okay. the Spider-Man in the here, back. Here, this is one of my favorite things. Did not, at first I thought, is this a tiny little whoopee cushion? Is this a dragon <laughs> whoopee cushion? It's not, it's actually a little heating pad. You break that thing open. So when winter comes, you're prepared. Over here, if you wanna write a little note and send it via Raven, you can do that thanks to House Stark with these House Stark notes. Then, Another awesome house stance. sigil, which we don't know. It could be any of them. It could be House Greyjoy in there, Stark, Targaryen, Baratheon, we don't know. House sigil stamp set, melt a little wax. All your letters will be Game of Thrones themed. And then of course, one of my other favorites down here. Uh, this is a Tyrell planter. So it's a little, little vase, vase. Yeah. You say vase Can, or vase? Vase, vase. Vase, you say I feel vase? like it depends on what I'm talking about. If I'm trying to sound fancy, La I say vase. La Vase, vase. I feel like whoever says LaCroix probably says vase. Yeah, this is the thing. That, that's fair. And over here, we have, <laughs> this thing's great. It's a drinking horn from who? The Baratheons who love to drink. This thing can go around your neck and you can hold that around or you can put it in this nice holder. And down here, we have Jon Snow's dire wolf ghost in action form figure. Which is amazing and not only that, and I read it a little bit earlier in the comment section. You get this box. Look, yeah. I just want to keep the box on the its box own. Box is for sure a collectible as well. Yes, it's numbered, Speaking guys. Of There's the map, only five thousand of these. We got a little piece of it over here. Oh, oh, oh! Look at that. What is this? Johannes. Oh. oh gosh, has given us the winner, though I don't think it is a winner. Why? In any, why, why would you say in that? In any shape. It's Johannes. Way he, or never, form. he never trolls us. Johannes never trolls. That's like that's his. Life motto. Yes. If he had a pin and it said, uh, it'd say, <laughs> yeah, House Johannes, it would say, I never, never troll. troll. And then exactly. it would have a little winking face. Like, yeah. Maybe I do. <laughs> fingers crossed. His, his, his house sigil is fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, yeah. He's like a liar. Behind, behind a back or something yeah, like yeah, that. Yeah, like, yeah. Just, just, <laughs> you just say, all right, are we ready to announce the winner? <sighs> which yes. is, which, which, I, I don't want to say, but okay. I guess I have to you because it's, uh, because it's a, because it's officially on this thing. Normally we do a drum and roll. And it's in my contract. I have to read what is on this card. Okay. So drum, the drum roll, I'll drum. do a tribal Game of Thrones themed drum roll. Go. And the winner is You Who is the Best and Ness Quick Sucks. That, that, that is not true. Boo, everybody. Boo. Although you, I know, you I know. who is the best. But you who is not it the is best. not who's gonna walk away with this awesome culture fly box. I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You who is definitely not coming away. You who is doing box. fine. They don't need all this cool stuff. Yeah, They're probably yeah, not even Game of Thrones fans. Did not win. Oh, Johannes is coming back. Let's yeah. see if this is another one. Oh, oh good. we have a winner. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Don't show it off. We all have the, the winner. All, Johannes has handed if, us the real winner. If we were to compare them, I think you who is the Game of Thrones of chocolate drinks, Nesquik is like Vikings. Yes, okay. I, I think Nesquik is- Hard burn to that show right there. It's by far the coolest. It had a bunny as a representative. Oh. It had, it had, did, did you who have syrup that you could squeeze and you could make chocolate milk out of it? It didn't. All right, I just wanted to, I needed to get that off my chest. Game of Thrones, Nesquik is the 90210. 
Oh, well, 90210 so great shows popular. in their own right. All right, fair enough. All right, they both have really solid casts. I think that's what you're trying to say, Johannes. All right. Um, let's announce the real winner, Marco. We have the real winner. Actually, we're going to bring along both Jack and Nina. Yes, yes. We're going to yes. all announce the winner. And of course, if you have won, if you are the winner, Nina immediately going to the club with the wrong hand, everybody. The thumb is in the wrong this direction. Is right. But yeah, it is right. Good. You're left. Right? Okay. Once again, if you won, yes. make sure to comment. Yeah. Because if you don't comment, we don't know you're there. What happens? Then we gotta pick someone else and it breaks our heart. Don't it do it. Breaks it. it. Don't, Just do, don't it. do it. Don't you dare not comment. All right. We need to know you're here. All right. On the way is Jamie Lynn King. Woo! Are the winner of yeah. every single item in this shot or sorry, culture fly box. Yes. Jamie Lynn King. All Jamie right. Jamie Lynn King. Congrats. Jamie Make sure Lynn everyone King. who's in the comment section to congratulate her. Oh. We're all good oh. sports oh. here. What, Johanna? Jamie Lynn King said Nesquik, and that changes the <gasps> oh. No, it doesn't, Johanna. No, 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 no. Nesquik I override great. everything. Jamie Lynn King, since you're a team, Nesquik, you win this box. And yeah, that has an on-off switch. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Turn yeah. yeah, him off. Let's. Jamie Lincoln, congratulations. Everyone, congratulate her. Woo! We just want to thank CultureFly.com for all of this flash stuff from yeah. Game of Thrones, of course. Mm -hmm. And if you did not win, just go to the link in the comment section. Yeah. And you can get it. Jamie Lynn King saying, nah, -uh, Johannes, I still win. And that's that's right. she did. Jamie, that's you right. Jamie. Tell him. Stand you up. tell him what's up. Stand up to Johannes. We don't even yeah. know what Johannes looks like, okay? He just trolls us from the walkie-talkie all day. Yeah, like, that's true. He doesn't actually work here. I don't know who here. he is. Yeah. He just, he just gets in in our, in our wavelengths in, yeah. in the uh, radio. He and just, then somehow we just allow him onto the show. That's somehow. just how, that's just how it works. And once again, everybody, thank you all so much for tuning in to Unboxed. And of course, Super News Live. We do this every day at 12 p.m. But of course, if you're into the toy particular section of it, we do these on Fridays, every Friday at 12 p.m. We do an awesome giveaway. And of course, this one was given to us by Culturefly. Make sure to check out their website. If you want this box, yes, this box right here, one of 5,000, make sure to go to culturefly.com or go to our link that is bit.ly slash culturefly. Make sure to get it. They do quarterly boxes. Everything is super unique. Of course, thank you to Dave Snow. Thank Dave you. Snow? Oh, Marco. no. No. Thank you so much. This box was amazing. What do you know? Jon Snow's here. Wow. It's Dave Snow. Okay, I'm his brother. And he hasn't written me in quite some time. Okay, thank yes. you, I'm worried Dave. about it. <laughs> Of okay. course, thank, really you to, thank you to Nina and Jack <laughs> thank you, Nina. for halftime. Thank you, Jack. And last but not least, a tiny bit of a thank you to Johannes. No, no, no shut no, him off. That's no. quick. Right, Johannes, you know nothing. You know nothing. You know nothing. <laughs> All right, everybody, thank you so much. We'll see you on Monday at 12 p.m. Peace out, everybody. Bye, everyone. Are you guys still watching? Oh, <laughs> that's that's awkward. <laughs> oh, well, you should probably then tune in each and every day at noon to Super News Live. So that's tomorrow because we're like, we're done here. So you can leave, but come back tomorrow. But like, leave, but come back tomorrow. I'm gonna leave. Who am I kidding? I don't have anywhere to go.